Yo, it's Trent. Hope everyone's having a good day, good weekend so far. Happy Saturday. And we got They Jumped Him at Work story time. So, sorry to name drop your company here, but back back in the day, I worked at Jimmy John's, right? And I've talked about that a little bit. And it's honestly, it was my favorite job, right? Partially because what was going on in my life. Like, I had a girl, I had... I had money, I had drugs, I had everything I wanted at the time, right? I was getting tattoos pretty often. Like, I was feeling good, right? And I was a delivery driver. Well, on this day, right, it was like a boring-ass night. Let's just call it, like, I don't remember at all what day it was. I just know it wasn't a weekend because that's when we were busy. So let's say it was like a Wednesday or Thursday night. We'll go Wednesday night, okay? And so as a driver, the only thing you have to do besides driving, like, if there's no orders, no deliveries, which happens really only like weekday nights that's the only time that happens because you everybody not everybody orders jimmy johns that's not a statement that i want to say but uh a fair amount of people in my town at least did during the day and at night you know unless it was a weekday like from because we closed late we closed at like 11 and from the hours of like I don't know, 8.30, because we'd have a dinner rush at like 7. That would finish at like 8, 8.30. So from like 9 to 11, absolutely nothing to do except do the dishes, and then I could leave every night, right? So this is another night like that. No orders are coming in, and I mean, I had orders that day, so I had enough tip money. I was happy, and I had done the dishes, so there's nothing left for me to do except wait for us to officially be closed, and then I can go home, right? Right. Well, I was working with one of my managers, this older dude, right? And I'm not going to drop his name um, just because I think I have both of them on Snapchat. There was two or three of those older dudes, and I have all of them on Snapchat. So in case they see this, you know, I mean, obviously, you'll know which one you are because you got jumped. But, uh, you know, I'm not trying to out you, bro. Anyways, anyways, well, I guess I am if I'm telling the story, but I'm not saying your name. So, hey, there we go. So, I'm just sitting there chilling with the dude, right? And he starts telling me, and this guy was like, at the time of me working there, I was 18, I believe, 17 or 18. This dude was like 23, 24, right? So he was way over high school age, college, or, you know, end of college maybe, but probably over college age, right? And so, well, if he's working at Jimmy John's, I'm sure, and you finished college around 22, I'm sure he wasn't in college. I don't know why I would say that. But anyways, 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 we're hanging out, just talking. And he starts telling me how he's having beef with like his, uh, not his stepbrother, but like his, his sister's boyfriend, but they, they're like fiancés or something, but they weren't officially together, but there was a beef going on, right? Apparently they had gotten drunk together along with some other family members and things were said that shouldn't have been said. Right. And, but he wasn't giving me the full story. He gave, he kept telling me what the dude did wrong and listen, I have a sister too. So if you're my coworker, partially like my work friend, right? And you're telling me how uh, someone's like being an asshole towards your sister. Of course, I'm going to believe your side of the story or have your back on it, right? So at the time, I was fully on the uh, Jimmy John's dude side, my coworker side, right? Which I was pretty much the whole time. But you'll see, it was, he just wasn't giving his side of the story, right? So basically, he was just saying, like, because I was asking for details. I was like, what do you mean he said stuff? Like, what did he say? And he was, like, swearing at my mom, our mom, like, right in front of us. I was like, Jesus, dude. And then he was saying how he was talking about just, like, really awkward topics and how it was probably because they were drunk, but still, it was just not a good look and he wasn't happy with him, right? But there was nothing said about fights or about anything like that, right? But... He did say that he had a long talk with his sister and it, like there were things going on where she was thinking about if she still wanted to be with him, things like that, right? So that's what set the stage. You could tell that like the brother definitely did not want this dude dating his sister or marrying his sister, right? Because like I said, I can't remember if there was, like I'm pretty sure there was a fiance situation going on there, but I'm not too sure. I can't remember fully, but, but eventually my coworker gets a call from his sister, right? And she's upset. And I didn't hear anything on the phone and he didn't tell me too much. I'm sure it got a little personal, but bottom line was it sounded like the relationship was getting real rocky or ending sooner. It just wasn't a good vibe if you get what I'm saying, right? And so he, my coworker, calls up her boyfriend, the one that, you know, or fiance, whoever, the one who I've been talking about, the one he said was acting up, right? 
and he starts just straight up threatening him. He wasn't like, like I would have handled it if it was me in this scenario. I don't know, like I didn't know the full details yet, but I would have tried to be a little more calm. Like, of course I got my sister's back over this random guy or this boyfriend, right? But I'm still gonna like try to have a civil conversation so I can get the information that I want out of him or whatever you're trying to get, right? But he was just like, I'll beat your ass, I'll fuck you up, you're lucky I'm at work, all these things, right? So what happens? Well, he tells me that the guy said he was going to come here and, you know, do something. And I was like, no way, he's not going to do shit, right? And that was just me being confident. Like, com just because the town we're in is, like, it's mm, pretty safe, okay? There's some, like, there's some wild things every once in a while. Like, a guy with a machete and, like, some, some bad parents or something. But there's not really any, like, true, like, city-city crime going on all the time, right? And so, uh... I forgot what my point was there. That's a little uncomfortable. Give me a second to think what I was thinking of. Sorry, there's this dude that's like, uh, the way I'm sitting in my neighborhood, there's a house right in front of me, and this dude's just standing in his garage, and it distracted me from what I was talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was saying, right? Um, About the town right I was saying this dude wasn't going to do shit. Like, he's not going to pull up because we're in a safe town, right? That was just my thoughts. So I'm telling the dude, right? He's like, he said he was going to come here and fight me or whatever. He didn't say shit about getting jumped. He just said, if he comes here, I'm going to beat his ass, right? And I was confident in my coworker. He was a pretty built dude, right? He was a druggie kind of like me. But uh, he was still kind of built, right? So I had belief in him, right? What I wasn't expecting was two cars to pull up. So now it's like, let's just say it's 10, 10, 15 ish, right? And we have everything cleaned up. Well, there were ways that we could smoke if we really wanted to. The way we would do that is taking out the trash, which you just go to the back door and you leave the back door open and you put a trash can in there and then you can just smoke in the back, whether it's cigarettes or weed. So while we're waiting to see if this guy's actually going to pull up or not, and like I didn't mention this at all to him and I didn't ask him, but I didn't have to be involved. It was pretty, like, apparent, right? Like, he didn't ask me, hey, if there's extra people or if I'm getting my ass beat, can you jump in? There was nothing like that. You could tell that he was thinking, like, he looked at me kind of as a younger person. Obviously, I mean, I was a few years younger than him, but he looked at me more as a kid. He wasn't going to ask me to be involved in this, right? So that's why I wasn't. Honestly, if he was truly, like, my friend friend, if I really, like, cared about this dude, which I just saw him at work for a couple months now. Like, I wasn't, like, tight with this dude. If I really was, I probably would have helped him, but you'll see, right? So we're outside smoking. Two cars pull around the edge, and this is important because no other cars are going on this road at this time of night it's like a side road that you would only go on if you're getting jimmy john's or if you're going to the bank well the bank's closed it's night two cars come whipping around the corner so obviously they're coming here to jimmy john's they pull up and like five guys get out okay like three from the first car two from the second thankfully it wasn't two cars full that would have been like 10 dudes or six dudes but five dudes come storming out, right? None of them are holding anything, which is nice because, you know, uh, they could have had bats or knives or something. I mean, not nice, but just the normal thing to do. You shouldn't jump anybody anyways. But anyways, my coworker, right? He sees all of them get out. I would have turned my ass back around. I would have gone right back in Jimmy Johns and said, we're closed. Sorry, I can't fight today. But nope. He didn't give a fuck that there was five dudes. He had his little uh, apron thing on, but he was already taking it off while we were sitting there smoking. So he just threw that thing on the ground and he's like, I'm going for it. He just, I mean, he didn't run, but he slightly walked faster. Like he went right for the guys, right? But you got to think this dude came with five dudes, right? And they're all standing like they're all like ready to fight. He went right at the dude that I'm guessing he was on the phone with because you could see his body language like I've been jumped before right and when that happened to me I fell pretty quick but before I fell and like hunkered down I was just swinging wild in all directions he wasn't doing that he went right for a certain person like he wanted to beat this dude's ass right and I'm just standing there and you would think like why didn't you record this or why didn't you call the cops or do something or try to help what am I gonna do dude like whatever's happening is happening in this moment like obviously if they're gonna try to kill him or something i'll step in but 
like, it's a fight. This is their business. I'm not going to do shit. I'm just going to stand here, right? But I'm also not going to record it because that may start a whole new thing that you don't want, right? Someone may think you're trying to record them to snitch them or post it. You don't want that, right? So they just go at each other. He starts beating his ass and these other dudes started hitting him. But I got to be honest with you, like when I got jumped and when I watched or when we jumped, we jumped a kid before I've told that story. Sorry, but not sorry when you hear about why we jumped that dude. But I've been jumped and we jumped somebody i've never seen like all the other attackers besides the main fight like they were not trying that hard dude like they jumped him don't get me wrong they were hitting him but like they hit him like three or four times in the face when there was five of them they could have beat the shit out of him and instead they like roughed him up pretty much like they punched him and they were hitting him but like you could tell when there's true anger in a fight there's no aiming, right? Like, it's just wild haymakers. If someone's on the ground, you'll probably punch the ground because you're not aiming, really. Like, maybe if you're an actual fighter guy and you're training, but when you're just a mad person trying to fight, your arms are going wild. Like, you're gonna miss, right? These dudes were, like, not doing that. Like, they were punching him normal. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, if you were, let's say your sibling just, like, bumped into you and you wanted to, like, hit him in the arm or something. Like, that's how hard they were hitting him, right? But him and the one dude really were going at it because he was holding on to him onto the ground. The same thing I did when I got jumped. I just held on to a dude and tried fucking him up while I was getting fucked up. That's what he did, right? But I know I'm saying this all in the span of 11 minutes, but this was really like a two, not even two minutes. That It was like 40 seconds to a minute long. And my, my coworker, I got to give credit to, he got his punches off on the dude, on his sister's fiance, boyfriend, whatever. He got his punches off. But right at the end of it, his friends, the ones like helping out, obviously the ones jumping, my coworker, ripped him off, like grabbed the back of his shirt collar and ripped him off of it. And one of them tried throwing a kick and then they all went back to the car, right? But then the guy that came here to jump him, you know, the one that had the beef, the sister, fiance guy, whatever, he said something. He was like, your sister's a fucking whatever, whatever. I can't believe she would cheat on me. She started saying all these things, right? And then that made me think like, what did this dude not tell me? Like I, I'm on my coworker's side, no matter what, like I said, even though a little bit iffy, but like, did my coworker straight up lie to me? Is that why he wasn't scared or why he, you know, really wanted to fight this dude or like, I'm confused. So like maybe, maybe the girl actually did cheat on him and the dude did nothing wrong and they're going to fight or maybe she cheated on him and he, you know, did something bad because of that. And now these guys are fighting. Like, I still don't know what the true story was, but watching my coworker get jumped at work was wild. But I will say, I will say out of my jumping stories, this is the least like dangerous. And you would think you would think with like older guys, these guys were, like I said, 24, 25 ish, like sometime around there. These are grown adults, like adult males, right? Someone could have seriously gotten injured, hurt, or died, and they didn't because these guys were not given full effort. Besides the two, like, the main participants, right? The friends were just there kind of, like, they were like referees that were throwing punches. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, they were hitting him up. They were, you know, hitting him. But like this, like, really like this. Like, they weren't like, ah, ah, like, really trying to punch him. They were just, like, giving him baby punches, dude. But... What are you going to do? I mean, at least he didn't get hurt. I mean, oh, and I guess I should talk about the ending, right? But like I said, they walked back in their cars. He yelled that thing at him about his sister cheating and being a slut. All these things. He said a bunch of nasty names, right? They got in their car and left. I walk over to my friend who's just sitting on the curb. And I'm like, yeah, are you good, bro? Like, that was fucking wild. And I told him, I was like, it's not the only time I've seen it. I've been involved in something like this. But I got to be honest with you, dude. It seems like, like, like you got kind of lucky here. Like you didn't get like fucking stabbed or something. And he was still mad about the whole thing about what the dude said. And he's like, he's lucky. He didn't show up alone. He's like, if he's such a pussy, if he would have showed up alone, I would have seriously fucked him up. I would have hurt him. I would have killed all these things. Right. And I let him talk his shit because it's true. I mean, he did get jumped. If he wasn't getting jumped, I'm sure he would have beat the dude's ass. So I'll give him credit there. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't jump people unless, I mean, there's like, I can think of a couple of reasons you, I would give a green light to let someone get jumped, right? But it's not the ideal way to fight somebody. If it's a one-on-one -on -one thing, just fight them that way, but whatever. Thank you guys for watching. If you're going through something, you need someone to talk to. Um, well, first of all, I answer all positive comments. If you comment, I answer all positive comments. If you're going through something, you need someone to talk to, for real, my Instagram is linked 
in YouTube. It's also the same exact name as my YouTube. So just go in there. DM me. I'll get back to you within a day or two. But thanks for watching. Be safe. Peace out. Don't jump, people. Go Bears.